we need to stop by the, 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 the Sheraton if, we, if, if it's possible. That would be perfect. Only if it's possible. And what is this area called right here? This is Escalon, and we're passing by Galerias. We're passing by Galerias. And that's like, that mall been around for a while too. Tell them about the, that mall, man. It's real history to that mall. It's been open for a while. No, but the house. Oh, the house. The house, the house. I don't know the history about the house. Like, okay. I know it. There is a house inside of the mall. Like, yeah, it's a Palestinian family. I know the, it, but the, I thought you might know a little bit Yeah, no, I, I don't know the history of the house. I know that they built the mall, like, around the house. The original house is inside of the mall. Okay. So, when you go into the mall, you can actually go to the house. Yeah. Because it's, like, in the middle of everything. Yeah, I've been to the, I've been to the mall, and I've been to the... And um, well, what I heard and what they told me is, there was a Palestinian family here in the, like the 1930s or 40s. They did a lot for the country, and they were a really wealthy family, and they didn't want to tear down their house, so they built them all around there. That's an honor. That's what I heard. No, you can Google it. That's the truth. Fully time okay. to do real research. Okay, that's fine. No, I because I, I lie sometimes. We were with the person saying the comments. Right? He lies when it's convenient. I'm gonna lie about how I going history when it's convenient. No, but that's the truth. With the gallery is more, it was a Palestinian family. And, um, they did something for your wonderful country about Salvador, and they didn't want to tear down their house, so they left it and made it as like a monument or something. Yeah, I'm being real. Like intact. Yeah, Philly Dumb. Yeah, they got a Starbucks in there, they got another coffee shop at the bottom. Downstairs, they got like a jewelry store. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So we going down to the Wendy's? Mm -hmm. We're gonna see if the gas station is open. So we can oh, you gotta go to a certain gas station. Yeah. Okay. You speak so much English. Sometimes I forget you speak Spanish, and then when you speak Spanish with people, I'm like, oh yes, yeah, does speak Spanish. Because <laughs> your English is so good. Not in a bad way, but in a good way. Like it's good. I think your English is better than my English. And I grew up in the States. And what area is this right here? What's this church there? What area is this right here? This area, the church is called San Jose de la Montaña. Okay. And the neighborhood, I don't know. Ah, oh, beautiful. You forgot our neighborhood. No, I don't You're know. You're fired as a tour guide. Like, no, I'm messing with you. Yeah. <laughs> No, I don't know the name of this neighborhood. Okay. Like, the area in general is Salvador del Mundo. Like, mm -hmm. we call it by Sal Like, if you're coming around here, it's like by Salvador del Mundo. Okay. You know, in El Salvador, we don't really use, like, street names and, like, avenues and all that. Mm -hmm. We always use a point of reference. Like, by, in front of, next to, behind. Mm -hmm. And you always use a point of reference. So, this area in general, like, people will say by Salvador del Mundo. Oh, by El Salvador the Mundo. Yeah. Mundo. Oh, so at your job, you getting you tell me you get a gas coupon from your job. Why why did you get, why did they give you guys gas coupons? Because you travel a lot or work a lot or No, it's just like um like a bonus thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're a smarty arty worker. If you do everything right, like and, they give you And it has to be this Texaco? Yeah, it has to be this one specifically. Why you guys have like a uh I think like my boss has a, like an arrangement or something. Okay. Okay. And they they pump your gas for you. Yeah. The gas we put in the other day is still there, huh? Hola, buenas. Veinte de regular, por favor. Yeah, there's some left, but I'm gonna be driving a lot on Friday, so. Well, you gotta take your sure. aunt back, right? Yeah, I just wanna make sure. That, um, okay. And what would you say? About what? I'm gonna ask you some stuff about your country to throw you off right now. Oh my god, okay.
I'm gonna throw you off with this. How many different types of, uh, I don't know, Spanish, like the different types of Spanish. Like, you, if people tell me that your Spanish here in San Salvador is different from the Spanish in uh, San Miguel. What's the difference between them two? Between the Spanish here and the Spanish in San Miguel. Oh, that's um, cool. That's cool. That's cool. What's the difference? It is different because, like, the way we pronounce things, and even, mm -hmm. like, some things are called different in yeah. San Miguel or La Unión Usulután. And you're always making me say, like, the risky stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, people, some people, okay. not all of us, uh -huh. make fun of people from San Miguel and Usulután and La Unión because Ooh. they don't pronounce the S. Okay. Like, they make it sound like, I don't know. They, it's not it's as not strong. Like, for example, like if a word has an S, like, I don't know, mm -hmm. like casa, for example, they will say caja. Okay. Something like that. Like, people make fun of it. I think not only people from San Miguel do it, like a lot of people do it. Mm -hmm. And it's just like your accent. Okay, There's so the accent. Do about it. Yeah, the accent yeah. is just different. It's a little bit different. And what's your favorite place to eat here in El Salvador? If you had a place that you could pick to eat in El Salvador, where would you eat at? Oh, there's a What happened? Nothing. I just gave you the coupon. Okay. Because, like, we're not paying with actual money. Like, okay, we're paying with a coupon. Okay. Got the hookup. That is right, and they just write down your gracias. They just write down the plate number and everything. Okay. So you want to go to Wendy's? Because I know you don't like Don, Don Pollo. I mean, yeah, I don't want to eat Don Pollo. You don't want to eat chicken. Say you don't want to eat chicken. Say it. I don't want to eat chicken. Say it louder. Say it with your chest. I don't want to eat chicken. No, I don't want to eat chicken. <laughs> chicken. And it's a beautiful place, man. San Salvador. It looks nice, man. Look at that building right there, man. With the blue windows. Um, that's like, um, that building has been multiple things. Where has it been? I think right now it's just like a, a law firm. Okay, what was it before? Um like some other kind of office. I think there was a store there, like uh -huh. it's been changing. Look good for things, huh? Let you guys see what's going on, man. We're trying to show you the real El Salvador. And we moving around in the vehicle. So you just wanna go to Wendy's. Now tell people about the fast food situation. Like all that Philly, you taking it to Wendy's, you're broke, you're cheap. You know, I'm already broke and cheap, that's what people say. So, um, I noticed fast food is a big deal here. So, like eating that fast food, that's like, how would you describe it? I mean, I know you're not, and it takes some time. If, like, if I was gonna take a girl out and I took her to a fast food, and, oh, this dude is broke, he's cheap, he doesn't, he has no money. But here, I see that people take their dates out to fast food, and it's kind of a set acceptable in the school but their fast foods to me here are like almost like five stars they really go out their way to make it nice yeah i mean to me it's not a problem like we've had multiple meals at fast food, at fast places, food. Places. and then we have been to like nicer restaurants as well like we have been everywhere yeah but today is like the first day of the year like no one's on the streets probably not a lot of things are open uh -huh. so we just have to go wherever it's open okay but you don't mind going to fast food to eat. I don't sometime. mind. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad that you're feeling a lot better now. I am. I said a prayer for you. And then under and under the onion soup, I think worked as well. It made me feel better as well. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's a Belize dish. I'm feeling like I learned way that from, better. I learned that from the Belizeans. Okay, it was good. Shout out to Belize. And I think it's a Mayan dish. The Mayans are the ones. So, I mean, you guys are connected with the Mayans as well down here as well. Mm -hmm. You guys have a lot of Mayan ones as well. This is cool, man. So, the German place wouldn't be open today either. Mm, I don't think it would. Okay. So, a lot of places won't open on the first. It's like in the States. About the same in the States. Everything goes back to normal until tomorrow. Okay. That's similar to the States. Yeah. We won't record our meal up in Wendy's. We'll just record us going into Wendy's. Because they got too much music in there. So yeah. it's hard to really... And it's really loud. Yeah, but that'd be day two. Fast food restaurant. We're saying day two. Fast food restaurant. Why are you laughing? about yesterday and how yeah, they it, it was horrible They yesterday. chopped me to pieces. Like I got upset, you got, got upset. upset. Yeah. Apparently you're with me because you want to go to America. Mm. Oh yeah, I'm dying too. <laughs> and what is this little park over there? What park? Oh no. Park. Oh, we're going to go to that Wendy's right here? It's up to you, yeah, that's cool. You switched up on me, too. You switched up on me. I wouldn't mind going downtown a day later. Nah, I think I want to rest. Today. Okay, I'm sorry for pushing you to the limit. Yeah, I want to rest. Okay, so you're just going to... You're going to drop me back at the hostel, and then you go home and rest. That's right. I thought you were going to hang out with me today. I thought we were going to walk around. You going to help me lose some weight. Slim down. So I could be slim and trim. Well, we're going to, but when I feel like 100%. Uh, okay. So, today uh, I am feeling better than yesterday, but not 100% yet. You're not? Nothing personal. Mm -hmm. I do want to hang out with you. Okay. But you know, I need to recover. And you didn't want no pupusas, right? We can go to a place to get pupusas. I just said no pupusa, right? You like Wendy's, right? Yeah, I do. You cool with Wendy's, right? Mm -hmm. So is this like one of your favorite fast food restaurants? Yeah, I like Wendy's a lot. Is it one of your favorite? It's one of my favorite, yeah. Okay. I think my least favorite one is McDonald's. I don't really like it. Okay, I like McDonald's too. It's where I grew up at in Philadelphia as a kid, man. It was one right up the street from where I lived at. Yeah, I don't I don't like it. Okay. I'm That's, sorry. I don't like okay, it. but you're Wendy's you're a Wendy's generation person. Okay. Drinking electrolytes to make sure she get her fluids back in her system. Wendy's. Come and start, amigos. Are we in Wendy's? That's right. Day two, Wendy's. Day two, Wendy's. I hope it pleases your subscribers a little bit more than <laughs> yesterday. Because they were upset yesterday. Yeah. You walk in first. <laughs> 